welcome back we are doing the recording of 26th of january's worldly blessing now there's a meaning of introversion it exactly means that you are thinking about something which is very crucial in your life something which is going to make you feel important at that point you are actually removing the dirt the muck the unimportant thoughts which are going on in your mind think about it for a moment we generally feel that introversion means that to talk less to be quieter and to not to be an extrovert but here in spirituality the meaning of introversion is totally different it actually indicates that you are a person who is thoughtful who is concerned who is concerned about what is going on in your mind when any form of situation arises in your life so let's understand what does god have to say in today's blessing supreme father says may you become introverted and finish all your old accounts even in their forms of thoughts and sanskars that means it's not just in action that we do something wrong sometimes even in our thoughts and even in our habits we tend to do something wrong so that is what god is saying that you have to remove your old habits your old thoughts your old patterns your old ways of behaving even in your thoughts and your habits so god says bap dada bap means supreme father dada means adam bap dada now wishes to see all the clean account books of the children now just like a business person has their own account right they know what is the profit and what is the loss similarly over here do we keep an account of our karma throughout the day did we incur loss or did we incur profit and that is what we do in brahma kumaris we have a method of checking it we have a method of checking whether our eyes saw something dirty whether our ears heard something wasteful or nothing concerned with what we are supposed to do in our life something known as waste and did our mouth speak out something wasteful something impure and make somebody feel sad or not so there are many other methods to check whether we did a right karma or a wrong karma so here god is talking about that account book then god father says even a small old account that is an account of extroversion must not remain even slightly in the form of thoughts or sanskars extroversion could be you see something in somebody else and you start talking about it something bad you see in somebody's behavior or you see something which is not right as per the law or as per your own spiritual understanding and in brahma kumaris also we are told that even if other brothers and sisters are doing something wrong you're not supposed to point out you're supposed to have mercy for them and try to help them out to correct them but if they don't then it's okay to not talk about them not have the ego of telling others see i told him so many times but he doesn't listen to me or she doesn't listen to me that is again subtle ego that's a old habit so that's what god says it should not be in any form of extroversion even in your thoughts or sanskars become constantly free from all bondages and remain yog yukt that means don't get into the bondage of who what does who and who does what and getting into the different patterns of overthinking about others and thinking less about self because we have got very less time throughout the day to check how we are behaving so that's why god says and remain free from all bondages and remain yog yuk yog yuk means somebody who is in connection with the supreme creator and has got all methods to turn around the tables and start getting connected to god father this is called being introverted that means somebody who's from within getting to god who doesn't want to get into the worldly affairs and getting into gossips and all wasteful thoughts and who does what they don't have so much of time for all wasting so god then says therefore you can do a lot of service if you do something like that that means what kind of service it's not about just talking out to other people or saving time so that you can talk to other people some useful people even when you are not engaging yourself into waste and useless chitter chatter then you are actually you are actually thinking about from your thoughts something right for us that means you can even serve people if you have listened to the old vardans or the previous vardans you must have heard that you can actually serve humanity or you can actually give blessings to people through your thoughts also but that is possible so that's what god says but become introverted while doing it so why you do any service become introverted think about what kind of quality of thoughts are going on in your mind right now because if you are agitated frustrated and somebody says please pray for me you cannot do it exactly right because that's the background of vibration which you'll be sending to others then god says 
become introverted while doing it check what kind of state of mind am i and if our state of mind is not good immediately change it immediately correct it so introverted while doing it not extroverted glorify the father's name with your face of introversion that means you can help others to see that it is possible to be peaceful even when somebody is not allowing you to be and instead of blaming complaining hoing and hying and you know gossiping about that person did this to me god says become introverted change it in your mind correct that thinking in your mind purify your mind become peaceful generous humble and then do any kind of service then god says make souls very happy make souls very happy that they belong to the father so when you help others by your behavior by your action by without getting agitated without becoming extroverted or over extroverted about the problem or who did what to you in your life when you have consumed that dirt when you consumed that wasteful thought and you have combusted it in your mind's eye that's the time actually that you are able to help other souls also and teach other souls how to do it exactly and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris how to do it you too can go and learn over there om shanti